We are going to make a video right now. Okay. And me and you. Okay. okay? Okay. Say, say hi YouTube. Yo, what's up everyone? Rob Realistic coming at you from the garage. If you're a C10 enthusiast, like I am, I guess this is a common thing that like, once you get the Chevy put together, you find a way to take it back apart again. Here we go with the Chevy C10. Yeah, I got the bed over there. I got a quarter panel over there. I have the other one over there. Yeah, as you can see, new fuel tank. Uh, old fuel tank still works. Don't fix what doesn't need to be fixed. What's the what's the saying? I mean, most people would be like, well, shit, man, you got the bed off already. Might as well pull it out and put a new one in there. Ran out of money. Uh, that's literally the last thing that I spent my money on was this um, fuel tank here. I went ahead and put this bad boy in. And it's working 100% uh, when I purchased this truck. Uh, that was the only tank that worked. This one, once you switch the switch over, it would die. And it had gas in it because you could smell the gas. So that gas that was in there was real bad. So I went ahead and just took the, the fuel tank out, chucked it, and got a whole new thing, new tank, new sending unit, new lines, and made sure it was grounded correctly. And now the gauge is working. Everything's working great. So what I'm gonna show you guys what, what the plan is for the C10. First of all, the previous owner dropped this, I don't know, about two inches or something. And there's like a, a drop uh, hanger here. So they figure, you know, maybe a four inch drop. But then the owner after that went ahead and decided to put in a four inch lift to lift it back up. So they probably didn't have the stock components to put back to the stock height, which this is not even close to stock height. Anyways, I'm gonna be pulling these U-bolts out and replacing them with stock U-bolts and taking those blocks out and dropping it four inches. And then we got some uh, two inch leaf springs we're gonna be getting from a friend of mine named Ryan. He's selling to me. He's selling them to me pretty cheap. We're gonna drop the front end two more inches. So right. So right here, we got the notorious uh, left fender or left quarter or whatever you want to call this of the bed um, that I ripped off of the current truck, pulled the bed off, set it over here, ripped this part off. And then of course the donor bed panel has been put on and is looking much, much better. The holes have been deleted, just like the other side. This side needs a little bit more Bondo on the, on the low spots there, as you can see. And that'll be it for the bed for the most part uh, until we're ready for paint. I'm, I'm debating on spray painting this red and the other fender to kind of get everything to match. That is what's going on with the bed so far. That's going on with the C10. Yeah. So as far as everything goes with this bad boy, dropping it four inches we got that being done over there we got the tank that just got done we have the new interior everything has been redone in the interior so we got a tachometer it hasn't been wired up yet i was getting tired of not seeing my rpms driving on the highway it's a little cheapy 20 dollar tack from you know amazon but so yeah, I'm debating on painting that red. I might, I might as well just go ahead and fucking paint that red. Paint that red. Just so it kind of matches up. It's not gonna be perfect, but it is what it is. So quick update of the Chevy C10 pickup truck. Until next time, Rob Realistics out. Peace guys.